Welcome back to the Mullen Center here on the campus of the University of Massachusetts. Just saw a whale of a hockey game. Green Wave end up winning this one 2-1 to one over the Belchertown Orioles. Uh, the story of the day, penalty box. Total of 13 minor penalties in this one. Seven to the Green Wave, six to the Orioles. And ultimately it was power play, a power play goal by Kevin Bowman that decided this one. Um, I said during the telecast that this was the Green Wave's last right division game of the season. I didn't want to put the whammy on them. They end the season undefeated in right division play. Ten wins, no losses, and the Green Wave are the right division champions for 2019-2020, so congratulations to the fellas. Uh, in this one, Ethan Reipold, the, uh, the Belchertown goalie, was really the story. Uh, 38 shots on goal by the Green Wave, 36 saves for Ethan. Um, scoreless first period. Uh, the only thing of note was one penalty, so it was kind of quiet. Teams in the feeling out process, but we got underway a minute and a half into the second period. Sam Knight, one of our freshmen on the Green Wave, found the back of the net. Helpers went to Porter Clancy and Kevin Bowman on that one. I believe that's Sam Knight's fourth goal in the last three weeks, so he's, he's been on fire. I think I said en fuego during the telecast, so keep it up, Sam. Uh, then the penalty started to cost the Green Wave uh, with Jake Croto in the box on an interference call. Andrew Fiegel, always uh, one of the one of the high high octane players for Belchertown, he converted, got a got a deflection from the point. Cody Sampson got the play started from the blue line. Uh, he deflected it under Riley Drew for the tying goal, and we had a 1-1 hockey game. Uh, about three minutes later, Sampson himself ended up in the penalty box for an interference call. And Kevin Bowman lit one up from the from just inside the blue line. Shane Prusak fed the puck to him and just a crystal clear drive found the back of the net. Gave Greenfield the 2-1 lead and that was really all that they needed. There was no further scoring, no goals scored in the third period, although he had two, four, six, seven more penalties. Um, Tough day at the office for everybody, but uh, Green Wave and PK got a lot of work done. Power play goals, both by Fiegel for Belchertown and Bowman for Greenfield. Saw the power plays work for both teams today. Until next time, this is Lou Bordeaux saying good night from Amherst.